Okay, hello everybody. Let me uh, go ahead and start your first, one of your first flipped lessons here. And before we begin, let me just remind everybody to make sure you have your spiral notebook out. And you are going to be copying down notes as I go through this video lesson. So make sure you write down any examples I give. Uh, if I give you steps or procedures for how to solve something, you write those down. You know, step one, step two. Step three. So you're going to be sure to um, make sure you, uh, you know, are taking good notes. Don't just sit there and watch the video. You're going to want to take notes as well. And copy down the examples. That's very important in math. So let's go ahead and not waste any time and get started on how to find mean, median, and mode. Now these are measures of central tendency. And Basically, it answers the question about what what is typical. You know, what what is a typical uh, number? What's a typical uh, data set? So, uh, in this example right here, I'm talking about, or let's let's kind of pretend that we're just we took a survey on how many hours people spend on Facebook per week, and you got the following, you got, you got three, you got seven, nine, two, five, etc. So um, this is pretty simple and you know it only takes a couple steps. So the first step when you guys um, find the mean, now mean is average, but the first step that you do when you find the average is you add all the numbers up. So we're going to be adding um, you know, three plus Seven plus nine, so we're you know we're adding all these numbers up. You know you can do them you know on pencil paper or you can put it in your calculator. Either way, it's fine. Okay, so you're adding all those up, and that's what I got. I got seventy-five. Okay, and then the next step is to divide. So finding average or the mean is a two-step process: adding the numbers and then dividing. Now the number that you divide by, the number that you divide by uh, can change. The number that you divide by depends on how many numbers you have. So um, in this example right here, we have 15 numbers. So I'm going to divide by 15. If there was only six numbers, we would divide by six. But since there's 15 values up here, since there's 15 values up here, sorry about my terrible writing here. Uh, but you're going to want to make sure you're always aware of how many numbers you're, you're adding up. Okay, so this is pretty simple math right here. 75 divided by 15 is 5. There you go. And that kind of makes sense to me that, that uh, 5 is an average. All these numbers, if you look at them, all these numbers are pretty close to 5. I mean, they're not exactly. But here's one that's 5 exactly. 2 is only 3 away. Uh, 1 and 9, not necessarily, but 7 not too far, three is not too far, eight really, when you think about it. So all these numbers kind of hover around five. So that's a good measure of central tendency among all those numbers. That, to say that the, the mean or the average is five. Okay, now next I'm gonna show you how to find the median. Now when you find the median, the median is the middle, okay? Median is the middle number. So, uh, to find the median, it's also two steps. So one thing that's really important when you find the median is you put, a ball, put them all in order. Okay, This is actually a step that you could probably do when you're finding mean as well. So you might as well just put them in order and then add them all up and then that way you've already done you know, kind of two steps at once. But put all the numbers in order. Okay, Even repeats. So you're going to put them all in order. So you've got 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, Five, seven, 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 eight, nine, nine, and nine. And then uh, median. You know, if you've ever heard the word median used before, you might have heard it used to describe the middle of the road. So, you know, here's a road, and there's the middle. Okay, so one side of it, one side of it is going, you know, south or southwest, and another side is going this way. And 
this is the median. The median is right here. You might hear on the news a car crashed into the median or something. So uh, the median is the middle. So all you have to do is figure out where the middle is. So, I mean, you could you can kind of just eyeball it and look. And just go, okay, I think that's the middle. And then um, check it by counting how many numbers are to its left and how many numbers are to its right. Now, this obviously is not right. I did that on purpose, but, you know, you can tell right here there's five numbers here. And there's definitely more than five here. I think there's more than nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine numbers. So you're going to want to, you know, kind of eyeball it or have a good system in place to figure out what the middle is. And there it is. There's five is right in the middle. And that's actually what our mean was as well. But don't don't confuse that with being mean. You know, the just because the mean was five doesn't mean the median was five. They might be close. They might be pretty close to each other, but it doesn't mean that they are going to be the same. So uh, I'm going to double check here and make sure there's the same number of values to the left. Four, five, six, seven values to the left, and there should be seven values to the right of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven values to the left. Okay, so there's your median. Your median is five. Get some of this writing. Okay pretty simple. Okay, uh, here's another median example, and th in this example right here, um, what I want to do is I want to talk about what if there isn't just one middle number, and uh, that happens when you have an even set of data. Now, you know, what I mean by that is that, you know, if you have, you know, people standing in a line, and you say, okay, I want to pick the middle person. And this person's probably like, well, am I in the middle? Am I in the middle? And, you know, these two obviously are not in the middle. But there isn't one middle person. There isn't just one person that's in the middle, you can say. If we, if we added another person, you know, you know, like this person right here, then, yeah, we could say this person's in the middle. But we have to make sure that, you know, we're dealing with an odd set of data or an even set of data. That way we know whether there's a true middle or not. And when we set all these up, when we put these in order, okay, you'll notice that, you know, I can't say five is in the middle because there's four to the right and five, or four to the left and five to the right. And I cannot say six is in the middle because there's four to the right here and five to the left there. So what you are left with is having to find the two middle values. So you have to kind of look at both the middle values. So there's going to be two. They share the middle. So five and six are both in the middle. And you're not done. You can't say, well, five and six is the median. Now, after you find um, the two middle, because whenever you find median, you're going to get one number. All we want is one number. You know, the median is seven. The median is 4.3. We need just one value, not two. So what you do is you find the average or the mean of those two middle values. So I'm just going to add them up like I did you know, at the beginning of this lesson. 5 plus 6, and I'm going to divide by 2. Okay. So 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. So 5.5. There you go. So... You guys understand why I made or why, why I divided by two? Well, it was because there were two numbers here. Okay, so there's two values there. Therefore, we divided by two. So you have to be careful whenever you're doing this that you make sure you're dealing with an even set of data or an odd set of data. If it's odd, kind of weird, but when it's odd, there's going to be a middle. Just like if I have three people, I can I can definitively say I can definitely say that someone is in the middle. You know, I can say, this guy is in the middle, or a girl. Okay? But if I have, whenever I have an even set, I have to look at the two middle and then divide by two. Add them up and divide by two. Okay, the last part of your lesson is how to find mode. And mode is the number that occurs the most. So, uh, you know, 
don't have to put them in order, but I'm putting them in order. Just to, you know, just, just so I'm not guessing. Um, but we don't have to find the middle. We don't have to add them up. Uh, all we have to do is just look over the, the numbers. And I'm looking for the number that occurs the most. So here's three twos. All right. Uh, there's only a couple threes, so that doesn't count. There's only one five. There's three sevens. Is there anything that occurs more than three times? No. So in this instance, you cannot say the mode is just one number. The mode is actually three numbers. It's two, seven, and nine. So they, all three of those numbers occurred three times. Therefore, you can say all three of those numbers are your mode. And that completes our video flip lesson here for today. Make sure you guys, you know, if you didn't understand something, go back in the video. Make sure you copy down all the examples and be prepared to discuss the lesson tomorrow.